Today's Bible study is titled God Hath Not Appointed Us to Wrath. In our last session, Paul clearly distinguished the expectations of prophetic and earthly Israel from the mystery and heavenly body of Christ, something that is missed by many Bible scholars. With this accomplished, Paul continues with instruction to the Thessalonian believers, and us, pertaining to our expectations and how this should impact our belief walk. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that, whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 6 to 11. Let's dig into this. Paul introduces the continuance of the revelation given him to give to us with a therefore, obviously pertaining and given the things that differ between Israel's prophetic and earthly expectations and those of the heavenly body of Christ. And the call to belief and walk in this regard is that believers not sleep, as do others but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Believers are not to be in spirit sleep or drunken in this dispensation of the grace of God, but are to be the ambassadors for Christ we are called to be, sharing the gospel of grace with as many as possible that they might come out of the darkened night and into the light and day. As ambassadors for Christ, and thus those who are of the day, we should be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation, instruction very similar to that Paul would later pen in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 17 regarding believers putting on the whole armor of God. This obviously speaks to the fact that, as we are ambassadors for Christ, we will be opposed by God's enemy, and ours, and we must be prepared that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, Ephesians 6, 11b. And as believers walk in the truth of our expectations as the body of Christ, we can be assured that, unlike Israel's prophetic and earthly expectations, God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the mystery and heavenly body of Christ, once the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Romans 16, 25b, are caught away to be with the Lord prior to the prophetic wrath to come, thereafter. This is further addressed as Paul continues that Christ died for us, that, whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. And then, once again, as in 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 18 wherefore comfort one another with these words, Paul emphasizes that, God hath not appointed us to wrath believers should likewise wherefore comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. Believers know that, since God hath not appointed us to wrath, then let us, who are of the day be the ambassadors we are called to be and comfort edify one another with the truths of the word. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.